guys and welcome to a new video we have today on review monitor 100 the biggest bookshelf in the new lines of speakers from the british manufacturer monitor audio and priced at around 350 euros comes in white black and the one we have right here walnut this new bookshelf speaker has that retro design and a pretty solid and well damped box as you can probably hear that promised to be a great contender for a very crowded market in this price range the grill is very acoustically transparent as you can see and it covers all the front baffle except for two centimeters in the bottom where the monitor audio logo is written the front baffle it's painted in a light grey that offers a very retro design and a nice contrast with the orange driver. On top we have a 1 inch coated aluminium magnesium tweeter derived from the Braun series that it's always protected by a metallic grill and a 6.5 metal matrix polymer with inverse rubber surround and a very nice bright orange finish in the back we have five-way binding post that uh, also allows for by wiring although I never recommend this or better for by amping your speakers one thing uh, needs to, me to be mentioned here if you remove the metal brackets and try to buy wire or by amping the normal impedance that is 8 ohms will uh, drop to 4 ohms so this is something uh, you should consider before uh, by amping or by wiring your uh, speakers but nonetheless they are easy to drive having an 88 decibel sensitivity at 8 ohm impedance in the rear we also have the high velocity low noise bass reflect uh, port in uh, which you can also see their hidden the tweeter uh, strange enough i didn't saw any stuffing any acoustically absorbent material but maybe I don't know it's glued uh, on the walls or something like that uh, the finish of the veneer it's uh, very nice for the price it has a nice color that complements well the um, orange uh, drivers and also has to the touch a slight texture overall the design it's uh, retro yet modern and the colors uh, chosen by the producer will uh, complement very nice in my opinion a lot of uh, a lot of uh, rooms and now let's go on to the sound impression in my uh, medium sized room tested on my uh, bc acoustic amplifier it's a 120 watts per channel amplifier uh, I didn't have any problem driving the speakers to their full potential the sound it's very natural very solid has a very good bass response a transparent mid-range slightly pushed forward mid-range actually uh, that means a good vocal with a good clarity and uh, a natural voice on all the tracks that I listen to the Twitter it's present but it's not aggressive it's actually more discreet than in the bronze series uh, that means the overall sound uh, has that touch of warmness that allows you to listen uh, longer without getting tired or nothing like that uh, and that's always a good thing in my opinion and the overall sound it's uh, natural and has nothing that will uh, make you want to stop listening to music on more demanding tracks with uh, lots of instrument the sound stage wasn't that precise and was a little bit crowded but nothing to worry me about considering the praise 
and um, on some uh, very heavy bass tracks the bass was a little bit too much uh, at around 100 hertz and that made me switch the direct mode from my amplifier and uh, reduce the bass uh, just a little bit to get that perfect uh, sound that I wanted. Moving them in my bigger room everything got so much better the sound stage improved dramatically, the imaging was better and the bass was uh, tighter and more controlled. I actually felt the need to compensate so I added my sub, well, luckily I have two of them. And overall was a much better sound. In the end I would just like to say that Monitor 100 was a surprise to me, they came out with a fresh yet retro design, a good sound and most important a fair price. So I have no problem recommending them for music and for movies also in small to medium rooms. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, all the best, bye!